Financial reporting and variance analysis is a critical task for any business. Identifying discrepancies between actual and planned numbers can help inform decision making and corrective actions. Such discrepancy analysis can also be done for certain timeframes, for example, current versus last period. However, financial variance analysis often can be overwhelming due to the sheer volume of data and the potential for human errors to creep in. Traditional methods such as spreadsheets can be time-consuming, prone to errors, and cannot handle modern data volumes. That's where NIME comes in, with its intuitive and visual interface. NIME simplifies complex financial tasks and automates variance analysis to make it more efficient, accurate, and scalable to handle large volumes of data. And that too with no code. Today, we will showcase how to use NIME for variance analysis within a financial planning and analysis department to identify discrepancies between actual and budgeted figures. For this example, we use the financial data set to simulate real-world scenarios. Our goal was to automate the variance calculation and visualize the results for better decision-making. For this process, we will utilize actual data from financial accounting systems. This will be transaction-level data, which includes codes, dates, amounts, and accounts such as revenue and cost accounts. We will also use budget information. As you can see, this looks like a traditional budget report. This is designed for humans to read, but not necessarily the best for analysis. We will also use SKU mapping data to map a SKU ID to something more meaningful, such as SKU name, SKU category, and price. NIME can connect to multiple systems by using various dedicated connector nodes, but to make this example work on any laptop, we have just used Excel files for simplicity. On a high level, the workflow consists of four steps. The first step is to read and transform the actual data from the accounting system. Next, we read and transform budget data. Then we join actual and budget data to perform the analysis. And finally, we visualize the results in NIME or output to other BI tools such as Power BI or Tableau. Now let's dive into each of these in more detail. For the first step, we read the actual data from the accounting system and the SKU data using Excel reader nodes. Then we parse out the coding string to retrieve information on store and SKU ID. We then extract a month from the transaction date so that we can compare with monthly budgets later. Lastly, we join the actual accounting data with SKU IDs for the products that have been sold. Similarly to the actuals, we will also transform the budget data. Here we clean up the budget data by removing the end of report row at the end of the data, convert the data to the correct data types, and unpivot the data to get the data in a format suitable for analysis. The next step is the variance analysis. Since the budget information are at the granularity of store, month, and SKU, we will use the pivot node to get the actual accounting data in a similar format. Once this is done, we can join the actual and budget data using a joiner node. Now we have a comparable set of data and we perform the variance analysis. For example, we can analyze store performance versus budget. Lastly, we can visualize the results. This can be done using nine visualization nodes, for example, the bar chart node, to see the store revenue performance versus budget. Alternatively, NIME also provides the ability to send outputs to other BI tools such as Power BI and Tableau. Automating this process with NIME not only saves time, but also improves accuracy and consistency, ensuring reliable insights every single time. Special thanks to our partner Day5 Analytics for contributing this workflow to the NIME community. 